Hi, Sharon here again. I'm on the final part of the folio um, to do the closure and also to show you that I've put in here, well what I'm going to put in here is at the middle of the journal you have these two hanging down. I don't like them personally. So what I do is cut out little hearts with my um, heart punch cut four of them out and then I just get my glue I've already cut two out previously and I just feel this kind of finishes it off in the middle as well in the journal and I just put that in the middle whoops and these two nice I thought these lemon papers would go well at the, on the front of it like that so you just line them up there see and then the same on this side it just finishes the journal off I know I always seem to be talking about the high weather the different kinds of weather we have here but we've had such high winds today and all of this weather is so unusual for Spain um, but then I think maybe the rest of the world might be having similar problems. So, so it goes like that. Now to get to the... Um, oh dear. The closure. <laughs> I think about that one. What I do, um, you can't put... Well, you could put a um, eyelet through there, but you can't there. So I've got one of these... Um, ring punches so I'm hoping well, you need uh, one, two, three, four, six of them two three four five and six Right, and then what I do is I get a ruler, kind of get the middle ground of this, um, eight and a bit, so four and sort of about here. And I would think it would go about there and again, four and one, four and one fifth. So you've got a rough idea, do it that way around. So you're not uneven when you punch. I use the cropper dial rather than my um, normal hole punch. And roughly I do it about there. And then hopefully the same the other side. Like, whoops. Like that. So I roughly get the pencil mark in the mod middle of the hole. Like that. And then I get my glue and I stick. Say on this one I've chosen the craft card. I just stick these on. So it finishes it off again. And I feel it also um, reinforces. This is quite thick craft card that I've got here that I've used. It was a scrap I found. Um, so, whoops, let's move them out of the way. Move that up there. So it's Saturday morning I'm filming this, so I hope everybody's had a good weekend or having a good weekend. Just been speaking to my friend Terry in um, America. We've got to be friends through some swaps we've done. And it's interesting talking to other people from other countries, isn't it? From where you live. Um, so that was uh, has been quite an interesting morning with that. A bit worried I'd woken her up, but I hadn't. <laughs> right. Just got these last two to do here. 
then all I do is I use um, some ribbon to tie it like that on there there so now I'll just get some yellow ribbon just generally measure round we get um, ribbon is one thing that we can do quite well with over here we get from um, the Chinese shops there's a lot of what we call the Chinese shops massive shops um, bring in um, loads of stuff over from China and um, you could say we're quite lucky but also it's not that good either some of the stuff but one of the good things is the ribbon they have loads of ribbon in these shops not lace unfortunately I struggle with getting lace over here but definitely ribbon's a good one it wasn't so bad before Brexit because we could um, whoops I can't get it through the hole because we could actually um, bring over from the UK but since Brexit it's uh, a lot more difficult with customs etc that through there whoops very fiddly I'll get there in the end like that and then it ties up like this now you could like I did with the black and white one put a make a yellow I could have made a yellow and orange sort of dangle I might still do that I'm not sure but what I have got is a nice um, lemon charm that I've put on a um, bowl pin so I'm going to stick that through the lace here the top so that can whoops, hang down like that on there so I'll do a quick flip through of what I finished off after our last video get rid of them so that was quite simple and straightforward um, with the tie. I mean, there's all sorts of different closures you could probably do. And as I say, I've got a nice lemon charm on there now. You open up to this here. And then here I've got the pocket and I've put um, a tag on there. And I've just put um, some ribbon, organza thin ribbon through there. I finished off the little three flowers don't know if we can see that on the bottom there then this pulls down and here I've put um, let's open that up and push that over that way see better here I've put um, ribbon in the tags and then I've just put using I think these were freebies from Janie B as well um, I'm not too sure but I think so um, I've trimmed up some material and put them onto material some little quotes and then on this middle one I've um, whoops I've just done some stamping with um, spice marmalade from the distressing distress oxide inks and a bee I've used on that and then here again I've just put ribbon in not decorated on that all these just put these slotted these in I've have um, inked everything up now then here I've got the long tag and I've put again another quote on there and this is just the postcards from the kit that I've actually shrunk down quite small um, and put them in there and then just put some organza ribbon on that this was a tag that again I've shrunk down very small to put into this pocket here and then you just have the journal I decided not to put any lace on the journal like I did in the black and white one however you could put some lace or even decorate the cover up if you wanted to that's it um, oh yes I put some um, lace on the top there as well to pull out the tag and on that middle tag there that's it thanks very much I hope it's been okay um, as I say, up to you how you decorate, really. And I think I might put a little dangle onto that. Thank you. Bye.